Hey there, so we're just going to take a look at zooming in on pictures in Premiere, uh, often known as the Ken Burns effect or pan and scan. And you see this a lot in historical documentaries. So I thought a good example would be to do a few little montage of the President Kennedy assassination to cheer you all up. Um, so here we go. I've got a few pictures down here. Let's just whack a bit of music on something nice and American. There we go. So, let's start off with handsome President Kennedy. Let's have him here. There we go. So let's have him kicking in here. Where the music? There, I think. There we go. So we'll just, uh, well, yeah, just, oops. So, excuse me. Uh, I'm just going to fade that in a little bit there. Ooh, like so. Just ripple delete that. There we go. All right. So let's just uh, enlarge this a bit. Let's just fade in on that. Make it a little better. There we go. Okay. Now we're starting to tell our story. Maybe up to there. Let's keep it nice and slow. So what we're going to do is we want to do the Ken Burns effect on this picture. So let's go to this. Let's just click on this clip, and we'll go to our effect controls. And here we are. Start the clip. You can already see a couple of keyframes there for opacity because I drew the fade. But what we're going to do is going to hit the position. Uh, sorry, underneath position scale and hit the stopwatch there and there you can see it's popped a keyframe on the timeline and I'm just going to go to the end of the clip oops overshot that there we go and I'm just going to scale that up a little bit and, uh, so we've got the classic there we go handsome John F Kennedy there we go now, to the next part of the story is he's in Dallas in the motorcade. So here we go. And now this is a big picture. So you can see here that we could scale that down. Like so to make it fit. There we go. Not that long, I think. So we could also take that and we can just do the same thing we can add a keyframe there skip to the end and just keyframe that up a bit we could also add a keyframe from position as well so we can sort of move it within the shot so we can uh, let's just move that up a little bit and move it across so we kind of keep everything central as it Zooms in. There we go. And then let's try uh, make it super cheesy. Let's put a gunshot effect here. Oh, disaster! And here we go. And so it is quite cheesy. It just dips to black, but. Oh. And then fades back in. Again, this picture is way too big. So let's scale that down so it fits on the screen like so. And then do the same again. Go to the start of the clip. Let's just scale it. And let's just go to the air. Let's scale it up a little bit. And let's do that. And then just go back to the beginning. I'm going to add another one for position. Because what we want to do is we want to bring it Jackie more center frame. There we go, and dog off the edge there. That'll do. There we go. So we've got. And then finally, we put a newspaper. Oh, there we go. So that's obviously again big images. So we're going to scale this down to fit on the screen. And then that's this PNG, so it's got some transparency. Let's just come forward to here. 
Well, let's have the keyframe for uh, scale. And this time it's in the position, let's add rotation. Let's go to the start of the clip and let's just whiz that rotation quite yeah, quite a lot. We like that, something quite random. And then take the scale down to uh, zero. So that's going to add some keyframes there. There we go, spinny newspaper. What more could you want? So that's the basics of just doing the old Ken Burns effect. It's basically adding keyframes to the scale, the position, the rotation on still images. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Cheerio.